Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about my favourite hair oils. I'm going to be talking you guys through some of my favourite hair oils that I like to use on my hair and the reasons why I use each and every hair oil. I don't use them all at the same time. Depending on what my hair needs at the time, I will use one of these five. So I've used quite a few hair oils now in my lifetime so far but these are just the ones that I always find myself gravitating towards for certain reasons so I just thought I would share with you those reasons and which ones are my favorite so I hope that you enjoy this quick video the first oil that I'm going to talk to you guys about is going to be this oil here which is castor oil and this is just a castor oil that I got from Amazon but any castor oil will work for this you can go to any supermarket and you should be able to find it really easy. The thing that I usually use this oil for is usually for hair growth and I usually just focus it right at the front of my head here just where I feel like my hairline is starting to recede a little bit so I'm just trying to slow that down as much as I can. I'll take a few drops of this and I will just put that into my fingers and then I will just do circular motion around the front of my head area and sometimes in my scalp but not usually. I like to just focus it around my hairline and that's the place where I usually will use this oil. You really just want to use your fingers just to really just to go into circular motions into your scalp or your hairline and what that does is it promotes hair growth just because this oil is really great for growing hair, growing it really thick and I feel like it's definitely working. Around the front of my head, around here, I used to have, I had quite a prominent, not prominent, but I had like a little gap of hair. So I feel like I've been using this on this area and I feel like it is making it grow back. I don't know the exact science behind it, but I do know that this oil does have a lot of fatty acids in it, which help to promote and enhance hair growth. When applied to the scalp, it will usually stimulate the hair follicles and promote hair growth. So that's usually how this oil works. And this one also helps to nourish the scalp as well. What that's going to do is it's also going to promote hair growth. I usually just use a few drops of this and then I will put this into my hairline. I don't use too much of it just because it is a very sticky kind of oil. It doesn't feel great, it feels very sticky. You can apply this to your whole scalp if you want to but I just really use it on just the areas that I really need it just because it doesn't feel great to put on. It's just very gloopy and very sticky but nonetheless it works and it is used by so many people if you are looking for something that will help your hair grow and if you're looking for something that will make your hair grow back thicker or will promote thick hair then this one is definitely a great one to try out. I will usually use this once a week in my hair. So the next oil that I like to use is this one here which is just a good old olive oil. This one is from Samaritan olive oil composed of refined olives and virgin olive oils. You can definitely use extra virgin olive oil on your hair as well. This one is definitely an oil more for people that have thick hair already just because it is quite a thick oil but it's not sticky or anything like that but it will weigh your hair down quite a lot and it is a little bit difficult to wash out as well. So the reason why I love to use this oil especially for my hair is because because one thing that my hair does need a little bit of help with is definitely the fact that it's not that shiny. So I find that when I apply this oil to my hair, it does make it a lot more shiny. It's also really great at controlling frizz. I feel like when I use this on my hair and then I wash it out, it does make my hair less frizzy than usual. Olive oil is also meant to improve the elasticity of hair. It's meant to be really great for strengthening hair and preserving moisture, which is something that my hair does desperately needs. For some reason my hair is super super dry so I love to use this. I usually use this once a week or I'll use one of the others but I do find myself using this one the most these days just because it's the 
one that works best for my hair type which is just dry a little bit frizzy kind of hair and what this is also meant to do is the oil is meant to go around and smooth the outer cuticle of the hair and that's the reason why when you use this on your hair your hair just feels really silky this one is something that I really love to use it's really inexpensive and it's all natural as well so you might as well give this one a go and I'll usually leave it in for around two hours maybe more if I have time but I'll definitely try and leave it in for at least two hours and then I'll just wash it out with my shampoo this one is great for controlling frizz making my hair super silky shiny and sort of preserving the moisture in my hair this one's really great at doing that so the next one that I'm going to speak about is going to be almond oil this oil is more of an oil that I like to use when I'm feeling lazy. I want something that's going to wash out of my hair really quick. This one is really easy to wash out and again it provides shine to your hair. I've used this all over my hair and then washed it out but I have also used this after I have washed my hair and I've used it more as a styling product as well so you can use this one as both so this one is a really good all-rounder. It's really great at taming frizz in hair which is you know something that I struggle with so this oil is really great at smoothing out the hair controlling frizz and giving it more of a softer touch so the next one that I'm going to speak about is going to be one that you have all heard of and it is this one here which is the Moroccan argan oil I think this is a small one that I've got so I've got a big one somewhere as well but this is the mini version it's meant to be one that you use after you have washed your hair so this is not like a mask treatment like the other are this one's just a little bit different so this one is great and when I say great I mean it's great for taming frizz and giving your hair shine so what I like to do is when my hair is still a little bit damp I will put this in my hair I will style it straighten it do whatever I need to and then I will use this as a finishing serum as well and the smell of this guys like this smells so good I can't even tell you guys like this smells like perfume if you go into Selfridges and you go into the makeup and fragrance part and you smell that smell that's what this smells like so this smells so insane I absolutely love it it makes your hair soft shiny so so like amazing this is insane I didn't think that I would enjoy using this to be completely honest I did think that it's not going to work for my hair just because of like the thickness of it and stuff but this really works for my hair as well which I'm really shocked about because usually serums and stuff they don't really work on my hair but this one is just something else and it does really give you a really great shine to your hair and the smell of it does linger as well if you are a bit skeptical about this then I would still say just definitely try it out this is definitely not a mask so I don't think that I don't think you can use this as something before you wash your hair but this is definitely great for styling and this one is the last one that I'm going to speak about and this one is Vatica Vatica Naturals Enriched Coconut Hair Oil for some reason guys I've tried normal coconut oil and I've not been that much of a fan but for some reason guys this thing is insane this is such an amazing hair oil I absolutely love using this it has such a great scent to it and I love to drench all my hair in this and just leave it for a few hours and then wash it out and I feel like this one makes my hair so silky so soft and I find it very easy to style as well after I have used it so it has henna in it as well so henna along with other herbs coats your hair protects it from oxidation maintaining its natural color it's got almo in it as well which strengthens the roots of your hair to help maintain their health and natural thickness so I just find that this one is just so I don't even know what the words are to describe it this one and my hair just get along really well this one I just love what it does to my hair it just makes it so soft it makes it so silky and I feel like I really see such a big difference with this one and this one just smells like coconut oil as well I feel I feel like I have used normal coconut oil and I feel like it did nothing to my hair but for some reason this one is like coconut oil times 5,000. If you can get your hands on this then definitely definitely
definitely give it a try. They have a small version as well. I find that this just works so well for my hair and I feel like all these hair oils are just so much better than using a hair mask just because they're all really natural products as well. They're not really going to do any harm and they are, you know, they're, they're natural hair oils. But I feel like out of all the hair oils that I've shown so far, this one is definitely, definitely my favourite one. So if you guys can get your hands on this, then please, please just do it. I just find that this one is just a great all-rounder and I just love using it on my hair. Okay guys, so that was my video on my favourite hair oils. If you are somebody that you just want to start caring for your hair a little bit more, the best thing you can really do is do treatments on your hair. So these are all really inexpensive, you know, they're natural and it would be a great place for you guys to start if you want to start doing hair masks and stuff. So these are just the ones that I find work really well for my hair, especially now that my hair is coloured. I have been told by my hairdresser that I really need to start caring for my hair and doing hair masks and all that kind of stuff because if it was dry before it's going to get even more dry now. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!